All right, guys, Splits here, and I finally found a way to add music on a Shire Factory without any USB, none of that stuff. Like, it is all done just straight up on your PS4, and there's actually a secret hidden feature on Shire Factory that not a lot of people know about, but I just found out, like, literally, like, hours ago, and I had to share it. And there are ways to add music on the Shire Factory, but this secret hidden feature is so simple, so I actually applied it onto this clip. So let me actually just play it for you guys. And there's the audio, it's like it's nice and clean. Like sometimes when you add music on here, like it sounds like it's from like the 1940s. But yeah, and also don't roast me on this clip because I have crappy aim. So yeah, this is just an example. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's actually really easy and before I show you how to do it let's try to get 520 likes hopefully that's possible and yeah let's get right into it all right so where I'm gonna get my music from is from Fortnite because I'm pretty sure everyone watching this has it so I'm just gonna go into battle lab all right so in order to get the music we're actually gonna use the radios from the cars so the first thing you want to do is just find a car and the car doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna use this one. And then once you find your car, you're just gonna have to make your car run out of fuel. So we don't hear the engine when we wanna record the song. So just drive around until you run out of fuel. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. All right, so I ran out of fuel. All right, so this is where you want to turn on the radio station. So you'll see on the bottom left corner, there's like different types of radio stations like beatbox and power play. So I'll actually put it on the screen of what each radio station, like what each radio station song has. So you don't have to keep searching for it. So I'll put that on the screen. So for my example, I'm actually going to be using the Party Royale radio station. So all right, so the song you guys are hearing is what I'm going to be using. So once you find your song, you just want to double tap the share button to start recording. So that's what I'm going to do. So depending on how long you want like the song to be recorded, that's up to you. So I'm just going to let it play for like around 10 seconds. All right, so I think that was good enough. So now we can just leave this. All right, so now we can actually quit Fortnite and go on to Share Factory. And I'm gonna show you guys a secret feature. All right, so now I'm in Share Factory and this is a clip that I'm gonna add music over. So let me actually play this for you guys. So yeah, pretty crappy clip, like my aim was garbage, but let's just pretend like this is gonna be like a Fortnite montage of my intro clip and I'm gonna add music over it. So this is so this is what I'm gonna do. So obviously I don't want this game sound to interfere with the song that I'm gonna put over it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually mute this whole thing. So in order to do that, just press square and then clip volume, just turn it all the way down to 0%. All right, so now the whole clip is muted. So the next thing we need to do is add that clip that we recorded earlier of us recording the song. So just press X and then add track two. This is what you'll see. And then you just want to press X again and then add clip. And then just add the clip that we recorded earlier. Yeah, I can see there's the clip of me in the car. So that's what I'm going to pick. All right, so you guys are probably wondering what the heck, why is there two clips in one video? Like this looks so confusing, but it's actually not. So what we need to do is if you guys look on the bottom, like I can't actually press triangle cause it's like faded out. So in order to get that unfaded, just press square and then just go back. And you guys can see trying, we can now press triangle. So and that's where we want to press triangle and then you'll see that this is where the magic feature happens like not a lot of people that use share factory know about this but i literally just found out how to do this 
and so here we go so you just press x cut out and then square for the settings so just go to settings and then watch what happens when i put everything on zero percent yeah i can see the video actually starts to disappear but the audio doesn't so just confirm on it and if we go back to this screen so you guys can see the right side like the video completely disappeared so if you get this weird like movie icon this is how to delete it so you just want to scroll uh where you see your clip so somewhere right there this is where you want to split it so press square and then split clip x again to confirm it and now you can delete all this so just press square and then delete so now if we go back and then let me play the whole clip again you're gonna you guys are gonna hear the song that I recorded so here we go three two one So look at that, look how cool that was. Like Share Factory thinks like there's a video on top of this, but obviously you made it invisible and you can't even tell. So so yeah, no more using a USB or using like your phone and a headset to add music on a Share Factory. Like this is the secret feature everybody needs to know to make anything. Like I'm gonna use this to make like a Fortnite montage. I'm obviously not finished because it's just one clip. But yeah, this is literally a game changer. Like any share factory editor like you guys like now you know how to do it so make sure you guys leave a like subscribe